Hi guys, today's video I'll be teaching you how to add mod vents to your early attack fan game. Pretty much they're vents that the mods can go into, go to a secret room, or go around the map easier, and only mods can go in them. Now the script to this will be my Discord server, link in the description. This is the second tutorial I'm making using this script. The first one is how to add moderator items. Now this one is on mod vents, so if you want, go watch the first tutorial, but it's not necessary. So once again, the script for this will be my Discord server, link in the description. Just join that, scroll down a tiny bit, find the script, and yeah. Please like and subscribe, it helps me out so much. Join my Discord server if you need any help, or if something doesn't work for you. Anyways, let's get into the video i also forgot to say shout out to dojo the developer for making this script it's a modified version of the original play file blogging script and yeah so to start off here what you want to do you want to go to my discord server link in the description and get the playfab blogging script if you haven't already if you follow my last tutorial you should have it on the playfab manager playfab blogging here if you didn't, just join my Discord server, link in the description, scroll down a tiny bit, and download it in the Playfab login section. So in the last video, we did moderator items. Now I'm going to teach you how to add mod vents. Now for mod vents, it used to be a lot harder to do, but now it's easier with this script, because this is a modified script with the original Playfab login, and this has a disable items. So pretty much it takes an item that's already enabled and disables it because that's what happens for mod vents. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a test mod vent, you know? So this is a mod vent. To make it look better, I'm just gonna add gray on this. In your game, this vent would be blocking the actual vents that you can walk around in. Just imagine there's vents here that you can walk around in, but this just blocks it off. It's the vent cover, pretty much. In your game, you'd probably have multiple mod vents. So I'm just gonna right click and make a new empty game object and just call it vents. And, you know, drag all of your vents under here so you could have, you know, one there, one there, whatever, whatever you want to do. So all of your vent covers, drag it under this vents game object. And then what you want to do, keep it enabled like this. And then go to Playfab Manager and drag this on to where it says disable items. And that's the unity part of this all done. Now you want to go to your Playfab. If you didn't watch my last tutorial, please follow my Playfab tutorial. The link to that will be in the description because you need a Playfab thing to do this. So once you're in Playfab, go to Economy and then go to Catalogs Legacy here. And then you should have a catalog. If you don't, just, you know, click New Catalog Items and put the catalog name here. If you followed my last tutorial, then you should already have this, or you might already just have a playfab with the catalog already. So then click into your catalog called items or whatever. And then in the last video, we made this owner badge. Now we wanna make a new item and the item ID needs to be events and do the same thing with display name and item class and leave that how it is and then click save item and boom, there we go. So now to give it to the player, go to players, click search, click on your player and then go to inventory legacy. And then we already gave this one the owner badge. So then click select item here, make sure it's selected your correct catalog. So then click select item and do vents and then grant item. And now it should all be working. So now back in unity right now, as you can see, the vent is enabled, but now if we click this, we start up the game. The whole vents game object is disabled here, as you can see, and it works perfectly fine. So if you were a normal person, the cover to the vent would be visible, so you can't go in the vents. But if you're a moderator or owner or something, it'll disable. And yeah, and there we go. That's all that you gotta do. Yeah, guys, that's how you add moderator vents. It's really simple, much easier than the other one. If you need any help or if something doesn't work for you, please join my Discord server, link in the description. Also join because it's an awesome community to be in. Also, please like and subscribe because we're so close to hitting 10,000 subscribers. Just click the subscribe button. It's easy. Just click, boom, done. Also, please consider becoming a channel member because you get so many awesome perks. It's only $2 a month. And one of the perks that you get, is you get a shout out at the end of every single video I make, just like the people on the screen right now. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for me today. Peace.